What's up, everybody? It's Ivan with Trout Fly Fishing here for the forecast for May 22nd. Uh, it's here. The annual tradition, spring runoff, is here. You look at a lot of the hydrographs on our uh, some of our favorite free zones, and we're starting to see those climbs, those rises on the hydrographs. Um, so we're on the front edge of runoff. We'll see it peak. Probably, I would imagine in the next two weeks, you'll see it peak and start to drop. Uh, there will be good fishing to be had both uh, on the rise and on the drop. It's a little bit tougher on the rise, but uh, if you uh, plan well, sort of uh, look for some key things, uh, you can find uh, good fishing uh, during runoff. And when it starts to fall, you can find some of the best fishing of the year. Uh, one of those periods of time when you uh, tend, to, tend to get a couple, a couple big ones. A couple of big ones on streamers, a couple of big ones on uh, dry flies. Salmon flies, I've also heard rumor that they're out. Uh, so salmon flies, caddis, blue wings are still around. There's a lot to be excited about. Let's talk about bugs, flows, and weather. Bugs. So it is runoff. We're seeing those elevated flows. A size four, uh, Pat's rubber legs, hard to beat this time of year. You have, you have to throw big. Me, uh, get use your meteor tippet, use your bigger bugs when you have these elevated flows. Uh, generally, you're gonna find uh, help find those fish. You can they'll still eat some of the small stuff, and you should, uh, you know, if you're throwing a three nymph rig, you can throw like say a cannon's worm, another great runoff fly. Um, you know, you're gonna be eroding a lot of banks, uh, that's gonna bring worms into the system, <clears throat> um, and that's a good option. Uh, you, so you could throw like a turd, a worm, maybe an egg, um, and then throw something smaller, like a, a blueing olive or a caddis. Uh, and you know, I chose two good examples of that here. So uh, buckskin, caddis, this is a great option. Whether you're fishing the tailwaters or the uh, freestones, uh, this is a classic pattern. A little peacock curl gives a little bit of extra uh, flash. A uh, great option uh, for free suns and tailwaters this time of year. Uh, Mercury betis is the, the fourth fly. Um, <clears throat> Mercury betis, we've talked about this one before, uh, has the glass bead, looks like an emerging mayfly. We're still seeing blueing olives around, uh, although it is towards the end of the, the, you know, the, the prime hatch. Uh, you still, you're gonna pick up blueing olives, um, fish on blueing olives throughout the, the year for the most part. So always good to have one of those in your, uh, in your box. And then the fifth fly, Andrew Grillo's fly, uh, the 64 Impala. If you want to hit the sand, if you're hitting the salmon flies, you're seeing them uh, on the banks, you're seeing fish eat uh, adult salmon flies. 64 Impala, super buggy, lots of legs. Got that Colorado fluff on it, you know. I think this was, uh, this is, Grillo spent quite a bit of time on the, on the Gunnison. He you know, obviously now lives up in Montana. Um, and we're excited to have him on for a future episode of Five Flies coming soon, but <clears throat> not soon, soonish in the summer. 64 Impala, great foam fly, has you know floats a little bit lower, uh, which is uh, great for the sand flies. You, you know those, you know, they're going to sort of be clumsy as hell and uh, getting into the film. And the 64 Impala does a great job of. Uh, imitating a good salmon fly. So uh, if you are finding those on the Colorado, say the Gunnison or something like that, throw one of those on. Wouldn't hurt. Wouldn't hurt one bit. That's flies. Let's get the flows and then weather. We're seeing those bumps and flows, especially uh, along the freestones, especially lower along those freestones. Um, we're gonna start to see some of the higher elevation uh, snow come off, and you're gonna start to see uh, you know, the upper Colorado, the upper Eagle start to, to bump as well. We're seeing the lower rivers really bump a lot right now. Um, you know, as a general rule, the higher you go up in a drainage, the clearer it will be. Uh, you know, clearer water, you'll generally find happier fish, but you can catch them when it's uh, off color. Uh, looking for those seam lines, those eddies, super slow water, you can find quite a bit of fish uh, stacked up along banks 
uh, if you find the you know if you find the right conditions and if you find one fish when you're fishing runoff there's a good chance you're going to find quite a few more which is the nice part about that another thing you can do obviously with uh, elevated free sends you can go to tailwaters so a lot of the tailwaters are, are running pretty uh pretty low right now um i believe let's take a look you know the south plat yeah, that, so Decker's is bumped to like 135, but that's certainly not um, a like a, a big bump by any stretch of the imagination. Um, so you're seeing some elevated flows down in Decker's. Below Cheeseman, it's still coming out at 46. Uh, 11 Mile is coming out around 54, um, and Dreamstream's around 51. So the free so the Freestones are going to be bumped in a little bit uh, off color, a little bit more difficult fishing. Uh, you can go to those tailwaters. Other options, warm water is starting to become a a really good option this time of year and then uh the my personal favorite still waters so still waters op have opened up chronomids uh leeches um that sort of stuff throwing streamers uh you know it's a really good time of year fish are going to be in a little bit closer to the bank a little bit more accessible and as we progress into the summer we'll start to see uh, good dry flies on there and uh, all sorts of things so there we go that's flows Let's get to weather and wrap this thing up. Looks pretty uh, late spring-like. Uh, we've got uh, temperatures in the lower 70s uh, up in Vail and then uh, sort of those mid 70s here in, uh, around Deckers. Uh, not a big surprise there. Uh, obviously, uh, we're getting towards summer. It's just one of those things. Um, with that being said, I hope you guys uh, Get out there, enjoy uh, either a little bit of runoff fishing. Uh, obviously, stay close to the banks. Um, maybe don't wade at all. Like, uh, there's a lot of large woody debris floating down, um, so that that can always cause a little bit of issue. But obviously, that's safety being number one. But number two, most of the fish are going to be pressed up against the bank as it is. So uh, there's really no sense in uh, wading out when you get these uh, these high, higher water events every year. So uh, that's. That's the forecast. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, yeah, we'll see, uh, see you in the next one. Uh, as always, you can find us here in the Denver shop up in Frisco, TroutsFlyFishing.com. Bye-bye.